and welcome to another edition of Whiskey at Work. We're back, Rob and Kelsey and me, Mark, and boy, are we ready to drink this afternoon. It's been it's been a long day for me, mainly because of the problems you've caused for me in the last hour, but it's been a long day I'm for sorry. me. <laughs> Did I inconvenience you with your job? <laughs> no. Literally your job. <laughs> well, it was and you know, were getting, close to, second ads. getting close to four o'clock and I was ready to drink and then you here we here go. Until noon. <laughs> that's 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 not funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's Leslie's problem now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, we are drinking at work today. We just wrapped up a sort of three part series on bottom shelf whiskeys that None of us hated. We we all kind of came away with as odd as that sounds. Yeah, as I fearful to hate as it. we were. Right, and 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 I don't think anybody should ever be afraid of looking on the bottom shelf. If you're going into a liquor store with a f- fifteen dollars and wondering what to buy, <laughs> wonder what you can get two of. <laughs> grab some of that stuff. We did the Ancient Age and the uh, Ezra Brooks, Ezra Brooks, the Black, Black Velvet. Velvet. Yeah, and it we was. We need to try another. It was okay. Bottom, bottom <laughs> shelf was. Canadian. We will. We'll start that one next after this. But I've been I've been way I too know. excited for this one this to been happen. Months in the making, folks. <laughs> oh I, my God! I hope you're as ready as we are. <laughs> and what 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 sucks about it though, and what kind of bugs me is that unless you try as hard as I did and have a fantastic mother-in-law that spends a lot of time in California, you're not going to be able to find what we're drinking today. Sex to say. I'm, I'm <laughs> sure that your mother-in-law is awesome. I'm a little disappointed that she works this hard for you. To oh, bring back she this does. Little chemistry experiment. She loves our show. The she advent thinks, calendar. Bless her. Loved it. <laughs> chemistry yeah. experiment. Uh, but now I'm wait. I'm all about the chemistry experiment. You haven't? I've, neither one of you have tried it yet. So and why are we drinking out of little beakers? Well, oh, that would have been a great idea. Do we it have little have. beakers down <laughs> here, though? That's the thing. Chief branding officer? Why aren't there beakers in The here? nerds probably got some back in the dungeon. Uh, we could have went all the way back in the dungeon and so maybe scrounged something up. Um, anyway, yes. chemistry than electrical engineering, but okay. Speaking of, speaking of engineering and chemistry and science, that's exactly what we're trying today. Again, this started with another article at about 1130 at night when you're scrolling through your social media feeds and it pops Normal up. Normal people our age are in bed. Yeah, they, they should be, but we're not. Uh, and we, I came across an article about this. Passed out from the episode earlier <laughs> This whiskey that's called Bespoken Spirits. And what's so fascinating about it is this is whiskey that's made in less than... A week, five days. It says, it says it's aged three months. Age, but what, what exactly, I, I think there, we watched the video of it earlier today about their backstory, so to we speak. Did. And we didn't share You didn't. When did you we were, do that? Um, well, we were not doing our When work. I probably should have been cutting the stuff you had sent me. <laughs> okay, so it's all coming full circle. Yeah. Damn it, she caught me in that one for sure. Um, but what this is, this is whiskey that is made through the power of science and chemistry. All right. They are able to use uh, 3% of the wood that would normally be used in a barrel that makes whiskey. And I like mo- that. Good And the more important right. part is, is they don't lose any of the alcohol to the angel share. So. That's what they Good claim. The earth and the body. Because a lot of a lot of whiskeys, uh, when it sits in the barrel for 4, 6, 8, 12, 15 years, it can lose up to 20%, I believe, in certain instances of the alcohol that's in the barrel. So from a purely uh, um, uh, business standpoint, losing any of that sucks. I mean, we've talked to people, Jack Daniels and others, well, not the Jack Daniels, people that work for Jack Daniels. Yeah, he's dead. He's long gone. Uh, but they tell you that, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a problem, right? Well, I think it's, I don't know if they would consider it, consider it a problem. I think they consider it, you know, cost of dealing business, yeah. doing business. I mean, that's just, that's how it happens. That's but if they could find a way to make sure that didn't go anywhere. Oh, I think they'd be better off. Right. Sure, you get 20 more bottles out of the barrel, you're, you know, that's 20 more bottles worth of profit. <laughs> we, look at us doing math over here. We never even really started drinking yet. I wish you guys would apply this to your actual dog. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I do all my thinking here while I'm drinking. It's hard to do all, all I'm thinking while I'm drinking. That's another shirt right there. I do all my thinking when I'm drinking. You guys go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) That too explains the mustache. Uh, Oh, you guys want to talk about this at all? I do. I do want to talk about it. What do you want to know? 
Oh, I don't oh. want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it anymore. <laughs> there are some things Just, that I, I want to say that probably aren't fit for the show. Yeah, let's, let's not Mate, do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at his face. What? He's not That's... doing weird things with his hands and making weird noises. There he goes, doing weird things with his hands. Now where are you going to no, sit, smart girl? No, that's not really girl? weird. <laughs> that's just happen- Crawl over this table. <laughs> that's that's crawl just what happens door. when you have facial hair and you don't normally have it. You just constantly... You do. It is. It is. Well, I, I, I can weird. imagine if if ladies and legs, same thing. If your legs get hairy, do you just... You just you constantly no, touch? No, I shave my those. legs. Oh, you, don't just, you just don't bother. Is that what you said? What? You don't shave your legs? Oh, or? no, I do shave Oh, okay, legs. gotcha. I'm well, I just thought that was a thing, though, shaver. that if you didn't, it'd be like guys in facial hair. You just constantly yes, touch it. Yes, I don't it. like that. The feeling of hair against jeans. <laughs> Sometimes I got to do it just to get it away from my mouth. No. God, we need See, to. We need to. that's what's gross about it. Well, it's... it's in a well, weird, shave it properly. Weird, in, weird in between stage. All right, we've gotten way off the rail. Let's drink this stuff. Okay, let's give it a yeah, try. A different See what's going to happen. Yeah. That oh, I've you been are drinking. drinking. <laughs> She's got a glass of Woodford down there cheating already. Okay, here's he what we're going to do. We were going to talk for the first 10 mm. minutes, and he wasn't going to let us have any. So we uh, had to have something to get us started, for the love of God. This one is <laughs> their bourbon whiskey. This is what, again, this is made, distilling a whiskey takes a matter of a day or two. Not to long. get the distillate. <clears throat> what makes whiskey and bourbon and scotch what it is, is the time it spends in the barrel. Uh, it gets, what, 100% of its color and 50% of its flavor from the barrel? Is that right? Yeah, I believe. I mean, I th- I'm Close. And those percentages are fudgy. but So none of this goes in the barrel. But we really don't know what they do to this. But it's it can be made, and like I said, less than a week. So this stuff is, says it's aged whatever amount, but it's it, it was actually... three months if you can get your mustache out of your face. All right. Let's try it. This is the We're bourbon. Do the bourbon? Yep. I'm. I'm not cutting it with anything. You're not on ice. I'm not on I water. Guess not. I wasn't given the option. No, you were. Well, you used all his ice yesterday. Let's give it a try. <laughs> she did. It's a production meeting. Wow. It's. It's very. No. Very hot. <clears throat> nope. It's got a really good. <laughs> <laughs> bite to it Joni you killed the camera guy <laughs> <laughs> um not in out there's there's a lot there's a there's I didn't think it would be this flavorful first off for how they created it I'm getting nothing on the front it burns yeah I mean there, I don't know that I'm a, getting a lot of flavor it smelled like it was gonna have a lot of flavor but it Mostly just burns. But you like that warmth afterwards. I Are do. you getting any of that from this? I'm getting yeah. a ton yes. of it. Yes. Okay. I do like that. But you didn't get a lot of. But I don't. I didn't. I like it once it's down. Mm-hmm. I, didn't like, I didn't like it going down. <laughs> I like it once it's gone. I, I'm not getting that same thing. I'm not getting that warm. I'm, I'm getting warm, but I'm not getting burn. Could you tell that this hadn't sat in a barrel? That's really the question for me. Can you tell that this wasn't sitting in a barrel for? I don't think this long? tastes like a normal bourbon, I but I, I never would have guessed that it was created by yeah. science. Yeah, no, that would not. I wouldn't have been able to suss that out. But this is. I don't. Normal. I don't. I don't not like it. I'm just getting the it's right? it's weird. It's different. I mean, it is very. I mean, I'm getting almost like a nothing on the front of my tongue. Right. Like, I didn't get no any of that either. Flavor there. It's all mm-hmm. back here and down. And down. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. Well, that's. Uh... So my question, and I, maybe I shouldn't ask this, but since they can make this in three months rather than four years, how does it compare price wise? That's see, I think these were under thirty dollars a bottle. Yeah, but is what the half cost bottles. Very tiny. But they are half bottles. Now I don't know. One thing I didn't ask my mother in law, Joni. I don't know. You can help me clear this up. I don't know if they, the the seven fifties or this was all she could find were these. So I don't know if that was the cost. These might be under twenty. I'm not sure. Well, I, mean, I got to find out for I sure. I guess my point would be that if they can make it in less than three months, 
and it's a why isn't it four bucks a bottle three seven five bottle well, i mean i understand the chemistry and the science behind it. it's got to count for something science costs money rob okay well, science well, costs money so does Fun s- space exploration. <laughs> <laughs> these are what astronauts public drink. funding for nasa <laughs> maybe they should maybe they should bottle more than 424 of these at a time i mean for the love of crap it's it's one of a kind every time though that's what they say that's, that's their I'm slogan for in a bourbon i'm <laughs> oh, not either not. i'm looking for a little continuity. you want consistency yeah. all right you know okay well we tried the we tried the bourbon that's i don't that's i don't the, hate it and i really I really wanted to just because it's you <laughs> i didn't want to hate I, it i'm not i'm i'm not unless this is Unless that thing's six bucks, I'm not sure I'm buying it. Okay, well let's try the the the, the whiskey. This is just the what would be comparable, I guess, to an American whiskey. Okay, All so right. let's give that I a whirl. To, can I clean, cleanse my palate? I didn't. I'm just I'm just I'm just going in. It's been one of those days. Did you cleanse your palate with a little, little Woodford rye? <laughs> this one I get a lot more, a lot more on the tip of my tongue. Way more than the bourbon was. Way more. Yep. And it almost seems to be a little bit more flavorful than the bourbon version was. I don't mind that as much. You liked this one a little bit better. Maybe. I don't like the after effects as much, though. See, this gives me more of a burn, and this was more of a nice warmth. And I, I got no warmth or burn from this after it went down. Yeah, the bourbon's better still. This is all This is all in, in my mouth, as they say. Do they say that? Is, no. is that a thing? Yeah. Almost you know, no they one. They all in my mouth. Do, do all of no our fans out there say, says that. <laughs> it's all in my mouth. Oh, God. I still have so much, <laughs> so much work to do after this is done. Um, oh, Russ is leaving that in. Well, this is uh, this is this is interesting. I mean, I I agree a little bit with you, Rob, <laughs> in that I didn't think this was going to taste as comparable as it does to the stuff we've had. I, I mean, I, I don't taste anything weird in it. Let's put it that way. Does that make more sense? Yeah, you guys, I'm not did sure either I of you guys get that something that's weird yeah, in I it? I don't really agree with that. It doesn't, it's not that it has a specific <sighs> taste that's weird, it's that it just doesn't taste it, what I've come to expect from a bourbon. It yes. could it be though because you know how it's made? Does mentally that play into it at all for you? Uh, it might, you know, I guess I don't know. Maybe we should have done this with a blind tasting, but it still just doesn't, doesn't taste like what I'm used to. Huh. Well, all right. So you, did you like the whiskey as opposed to the bourbon? I did. Is that what I actually like the, the one, the, the whiskey a little bit more. It's got, it just felt like it had more going on with it than the bourbon did. The bourbon to me tasted like a, a decent bourbon, not a great bourbon. But then once I tried this one and it had just, it, it had a, a lot more taste. Still does. In hmm. all honesty, I think <clears throat> science aside, I'm going to take an Ezra Brooks or an Evan Williams or the Ancient Age before I take this. Really? Even before that? I mean, you you could convince me if we surprise Rob on the next whiskey at work. And, <laughs> and here, try these three things sure. like you did with the Tennessee whiskey mm-hmm. and the Jack before. There's something... And not that it's not good or decent. Right. It's just, there's. I'm with Kelsey. There's something not right about it. And unless seeing it, unless seeing it uh, without knowing it, I'm, I'm, it's, it could be all mental, which. <laughs> with you, I get yeah. it. Do you think there's, is there a future for something like this? Do you think there's a future in the way they do this environmentally? Um, and do you think people down the road will think, Hey, it's... Well, yeah, right. I mean, I think as time goes on, everybody's focusing more on sustainability. But even mm-hmm. more than that, people always want to cut their margins. And oh. So if you can cut down your production time and increase your output, why and, not? And this has been an award winner. It has won a couple from the San Francisco um, Spirits Competition, which is a big deal. I mean, you can't discount that. No. There are experts out there drinking this, claiming that it's pretty damn good. Um, I, I, not us. <laughs> well, not well, you too. Ex- experts maybe. and us or don't necessarily go together. Right, that's true. That's very, very true. But you know, do they know what they're tasting before, or do they just go, "Oh, that's a good bourbon"? We got to get to a. We got to get to a, a, a competition. We got to see how that works. I just want to walk around and watch these guys do it and see if that's a thing. 
you know, see does how that, it happens. Does that one have any sort of age statement on it? Um, the, bur- the bourbon has one on the very bottom that says age. No, this one doesn't. No, I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, anyway, I, I, if you get your hands on it, these are always fun to try because they are so unique. They're so unlike anything you're going to come across. Uh, it is, I mean, I do still think it's comparable to, to a, the peanut butter whiskey or the banana one because they're so different and so unique that you, it, it would be fun just to keep one in your house to be like, hey, you know, Absolutely. what do you think about this whole thing, right? Well, I, yeah. I'm sorry. I tripped over you again. They... I think there is a market. Kelsey touched on it briefly, but you know, with the with the green movement, right? You know, not that. Did you feel his eye roll when he said that, Kelsey? Did I you did, actually but it's, feel? It's not even just about sustainability. <laughs> I mean, take the environmental factors out of it. Even though I personally enjoy that, ultimately, if people could figure out how to do this and do it correctly for their own particular brand, it could save people a lot of money. I I do wonder if this is keep the cost it, the same right is the is the next generation of mgp where these guys can take your recipe turn around and be able to give you product the in, the, the in, exact in, taste in you're looking for of years right and make and then then therefore making your craft distillery get it off viable, the ground faster viable yeah absolutely in, in a shorter amount of time i love the fact that of, of the waste, although, you know, they're 3% versus 97% waste of the barrel. That's not true. Right. I mean, Jack well, Daniels barrels and bourbon barrels are shipped all over the world. Exactly. And they're things. I mean, they're recycled. And Jack Daniels claims that they'll be 100% um, green here in the next couple of years with everything they do. So even if a company like Jack Daniels that still puts it in the barrel and still lets it sit for a long time can still claim that, then it kind of takes away a little bit from this right. as well, if a lot of distilleries can do that. But yeah, at the same time, if this is the road we're going down, and if this can just keep getting better and better and better, I think it's a good thing, honestly. I, I think it's I think it's an interesting thing, especially when you if you if they can make the price point versus time frame. More, sure. You know. I Absolutely. Mean, that's that that's a game changer at that point because then you can flood the market with your product in weeks rather than having to wait four years to put out a decent product. Well, if you find yourself in some part of California, I'm still not sure what part of California this comes from. Did it say San Fran? All right. So around the San Francisco area, then see if you can find yourself some of this. It's interesting. Uh, There is a lot of flavor to it. It doesn't, it doesn't feel cheap to me. It doesn't feel like they, they rushed something. Whether you like it or not. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's... Uh, how, do you, how do you not rush something in three weeks? Right. Uh, yeah, Bottles I, I got are cute. <laughs> Bottles are. They are. They are. The packaging's cute. great. <laughs> so check it out. more time on the label than they did on the... Yeah, there's... Uh, we might want to work on that a little bit, but it's still... It's getting its point across. Uh, anyway, give it a shot if you find yourself around San Francisco or if you know us really, really well. Who knows? We might let you... Uh, in the parking lot. We might come out to the car and pour you say, wait a minute, we can't do that. That's totally against the law. We can't. All right, we're not going to break the law. If you're wearing a mask, we might be able to buzz you in. That's right. Uh, Anyway, thanks for uh, watching this edition of Whiskey at Work with Bespoken Spirits. Uh, Next week, I think we're going to head to Canada. You ready? Love Canadian whiskey. (laughs) Bring in your flannel. Ready. Yeah. We're probably not going to drink Crown. I'm going to wear my flannel. I'm going to chop a tree down. I'm going to drink it. Wait a minute. Syrup. You just talked about sustainability. Be really, well, that was before. All right. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Whiskey at Work.